welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am bringing you all a perfume collection because i think i have actually done two of these now on my channel or maybe even three and you guys seem to absolutely love these videos i love these type of videos to kind of see you know, what perfumes i can try out next and my perfume collection is always growing so that is why i did you know, this video again for the fourth year running because i do have a lot of good gems here and i'm not gonna lie to you all all of these scents i absolutely love and i don't really have a favorite as such because i like a variation of scents and i think it is good to kind of try out the new ones because it kind of opens your nose to different scents and stuff if that makes any sense i don't know if I'm making sense but anyway so I have quite a few perfumes to show you a lot of them are kind of mid-priced and not too expensive and not too cheap either but yeah I am excited to show you all so before we get into the video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and without further ado let's go on the video right so I do have a lovely little tray and this tray was actually from Home Bargains so I have all my perfumes on here it is a gold mirrored tray but not all my perfumes fit on here because i do have a couple of perfumes from dubai i've never been to dubai but these are dubai perfumes by the brand jawad al lail um basically if you don't know who she is but chloe spriggs on instagram it was raving about these because they're meant to smell like the louis vuitton perfumes according to her um, and I ordered two different ones I ordered the wrong one by mistake however the one of them s smells really nice and the other one smells vile in my opinion and this one which is meant to be a Louis Vuitton tube I absolutely hate the smell but this one it smells really nice this is the Oud one Oud, Oud. and this one is the original I think I possibly could have got these for like £20 on eBay but the smell does last a long time and it did come in really fancy boxes and they are both how many mil are they? The 100 mil bottles which is really good for the price but I think they did go up in price when she promoted them that's the only thing but like here's the bottles how nice are they? Um, and this one I don't know what it reminds me of but he doesn't smell as nice but, but then again sometimes I can smell it and I like it. Oh yeah, like it also has a bit of like this brown stuff in it. I don't know if that's meant to be in there. A bit weird to me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a bit dodge, but you know. Oh this one is very nice. Only thing is with these is if you spray more than two sprays it'll give you a bad head for the whole day. Like you know when some perfumes give you a really bad head. Yeah, well these are I just have a perfumes because you know, they are very strong as well but yes these are by the brand Calalis it's C-H-A-L-I-S I got these off Amazon so let's have a look on Amazon and type in Calalis Jawad Al Lil I'll put them on the screen so it'll make it easy for you guys next up the one of my newest in my collection which when i did say i don't have favorites i think i was lying because this one is my favorite yes this is the chloe perfume i don't even know what this is called it is the like orangey scent and look how cute the bottle is for start it has a little cute a corally kind of orangey bow on it it says chloe it's got like a lovely little lid and this is a 50 ml i believe yeah and I actually got this in Dubrovnik Airport in duty free, and every time I go on holiday, I like to get I like to get myself a little perfume in the airport. I remember in Lanzarote, I got myself the YSL perfume, which again is one of my favourite perfumes. The Biz Chloe perfume it isn't too overpowering, it isn't too weak smelling. I think I did get the other to but honestly, it's, this perfume it will last all day and it just smells very like a grown up but not too grown up like it's got like a lovely sweet scent and i absolutely love my sweet perfumes um 
and it's actually a really good size to put in in your handbag as well for like a little top up throughout the day but this is lovely i've never had any chloe perfumes before but this one is one of my favorites and uh, definitely have a smell if you get the chance to see them in any shops because not a lot of people uh, get the chloe perfumes and i never thought of getting one until i smelt it but they just smell very nice without being too strong also speaking of the ysl i have actually got a new bottle this bottle is the original one from a holiday but i am going to keep this bottle because it'll remind me of lanzarote and plus the bottle is absolutely stunning like the gold detailing and the lid for this perfume oh my camera moved is there a ghost in the house probably is to be honest this house is haunted it just reminds me of holiday and i'll say this every time about this perfume but this just reminds me of holiday um it just reminds me of like when you're getting ready in the hotel room they're putting your makeup on putting like your perfume after shave on you just need to smell to know what i mean yes yeah, so definitely if you haven't you need to smell this this perfume it will probably be always be one of my favorites and it's just so like honestly beautiful like that's the only that is the only way to describe this perfume scent beautiful it literally is beautiful and this is i can't even read that let's have a look at this one. Oh my god why is it so hard to read i think i need my glasses oh god i'm turning to an old lady this is a 50 ml so this bottle looks a lot bigger compared to this one but i suppose this one's wider but yeah both my favorite perfumes and then perfumes i often wear for work are the more cheaper perfumes so if you are kind of watching this video for kind of perfume inspirations watch this part of the video especially because they want to know so i have the jimmy Choo blossom and ted baker poly so this ted baker poly is literally 7.99 in tk maxx it's probably like 10 pounds in the fragrance shop this perfume is stunning a very cheap smelling perfume but it just smells so good at the same time like you know when you have like a guilty pleasure of something being really cheap this is my guilty pleasure cheap perfume scent like how it's for work it's such a nice little bottle it is a 30 ml um this is a, a detail and this is the poly one a lovely sweet smelling scent but upset of it and then also a jimmy chew blossom it's slightly more expensive i think i got this for 30 pounds i don't think it is a 30 ml as well this is a eau de parfum oh this is a 60 ml actually but the bottle's very cute and this is a, like an older perfume now it has been out for quite a few years but it just smells of blossom really like flowers like sweet flowers um, and it's quite a cheap perfume but i think it does smell quite expensive still like it just smells very sweet but in a nice way um, and this perfume it will last on my work clothes all day so i'm obsessed with that and for 30 pounds you're getting 50 no 50 pence a litre is that right? A milliliter, not a litre. A milliliter. A quick maths there. See, I passed my GCSEs for a reason. <laughs> anyway, next up we have the Gucci Guilty Perfume. I actually got this for my 20th birthday. So my birthday just gone in October, even though we were halfway to my 21st birthday. But this perfume has lasted me very well, considering I was 21 in October. But basically, this perfume is a bit more grown up it isn't as sweet as the other ones but it still has those florally undertones and this is a very fancy bottle actually it is the platinum bottle i think the gucci guilty bottles are usually gold but this perfume smells very clean and fresh but also a bit florally a very moon vibe smell but i love the smell of it and you just remember of holiday again but not as sweet as the ysl one it's a really good size bottle a good little lid and this one is a 75 ml is it or the toilet but yeah so i do like this perfume a lot it is a nice little bottle also machino the fresh couture the perfume this is an other toilet but oh my god it is like a parfum perfume like Other Toilette is meant to be the weakest and Parfum is, is meant to be the strongest. Oh my god. This perfume, I, I'm not even joking you. If you didn't wash your clothes for a week, 
and you spray it on your clothes, I guarantee you, you would smell this on your clothes for the whole week. I don't know what the point is perfume, but it's so strong. It is a really cool bottle, and obviously Machino are very out there with their designs. It can be one of those perfumes to give you a bad head if you spray more than two sprays, but I do love it. It is an extremely fresh scent, and this is the pink version of the kind of original one. I think I might have got this on holiday or something. I, I don't even know, but I've had this for a couple of years, but it has lasted me very well um, and this is 100ml and this it will last up to 36 months it actually says caution that this perfume it may make you feel fresh I guarantee you uh, this perfume could probably be used as like a, a washing detergent or something I'm not even lying like it literally it just smells so good but so strong and so fresh at the same time that is the only way to describe it literally then we have the valentino born and rum perfume now, this perfume i think is very underrated this is a fairly newer perfume it hasn't been out for too long a few years um, it is a really cute bottle obviously valentino is very like this design isn't it um, and this is the 30 ml i believe and this perfume is very florally but a bit sweet and again i love it and i do wear this for work um, and this just lasts quite a long time actually because this is an order select. Oh no, order platform. Yeah, yeah, that's why. But yeah, it does smell very good. And I could never uh, go off this perfume because like, it's just that a nice kind of girly scent. And uh, speaking of girly scents, I do have a very girly scent here. So this is the Scandal uh, Paris perfume. And as you can see, I barely have anything left in this. I think I might actually ask for a new one of these but in a bigger bottle because I cannot get enough of this perfume. These candle kind of perfumes are very popular and this just smells absolutely stunning. Oh my god it smells so so sweet and this is a 30ml I believe. In the bottle it's got a couple of legs because that's like the, the John Paul design isn't it? So love that. Then Alien, another one of the most strongest smelling perfumes but they're one of the most beautiful ones. This perfume will last all day again, but it just smells so good. And good thing about this one is it, you can get them refilled. So I think a lot of the perfumes by Muggler, you can't get them refilled. And I got this for my 18th birthday, actually. So nearly three years old, I think I will have to get a refill. I just want to spray some on me because this perfume has actually inspired some like cleaning brands to bring out a detergents called Exotic Bloom, for example, in the scent of this. Oh my god, it just smells so good. We're finishing off with a little sweet perfume. A very cute one, which I love. Oldie, but Goldie. A Daisy Love. Honestly, Marc Jacobs perfumes are just a classic a type of perfume brand to have in your collection, really. Um, and this perfume is a lovely, light, florally summery scent. And it never goes out of fashion. Like, this perfume smells beautiful and it obviously comes... They're lovely, they're nicely packaged, there's a lovely little flower on it and all these bottles I'm going to end up keeping because they all are very different and unique as you can see, oh that's my phone going but yeah, I am very happy with all of my little perfumes yeah so, here is the end of my little perfume collection you know, if this video has maybe helped you decide on perfumes you're kind of thinking again uh, please make sure to let me know oh, if you are heading straight to the perfume shop, also let me know. Um, and if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye everyone.